All right, guys. So, in this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys three lenses that I feel you need for wedding films. So, three lenses that I feel every wedding filmmaker should have. Let's go. <laughs> So these lenses are one is the 50 millimeter lens. So the 50 mil 1.8 is I feel every wedding filmmaker should have a 50 mil. So even if it's not 1.8, if it's 1.2, even better, Canon has that even better, but you need at least a 50 mil lens. And, um, the reason why you need it, if you don't have a 50 mil, at least have a macro lens, you know, at least have a macro lens. So at least you need, um, those lenses are good for like, you know, getting detail shots. And uh, that's what I use them for. I use them to get detail shots. So detail shots for like, you know, the rings, the, um, the, the patterns on the dress, you know, and also just to get the, just to get the nice bokeh effect you know the nice depth of field you know i use a 50 mil lens for those shots so that's why i recommend a 50 mil lens is um so you can get detailed shots and another reason why i recommend it is because it's a cheap lens you know it's a hundred and something dollar lens you can get it you can get it for maybe even less than a hundred maybe like in the low um in the you know in the 90s 80s depending on how good the lens is um, 1.8 1.2 1.4 it doesn't matter you just need a 50 mil lens because it just um, gets those good shots you know those cinematic shots especially when it comes to details and stuff like that when you're trying to get details at a wedding the dress you know the bride um, doing her makeup you know you want to get th that good um, you know, shallow depth of field. And also, let me make this clear. You just, you, it doesn't have to be a 50 mil lens. It could be a 35 mil lens and it's 1.8 or 1.2. You know, it could be an 85 mil lens, 1.2, 1.4. So it just has to be something that you can get good details with, you know. That's why I say, you know, you can either have a, a macro lens or a 50 mil lens. As long as you know you get that good shallow depth of field with it, so and also in the in the fifty mil range there, seventy eighty around that focal length. So, anyways, um yeah. So I'll give you some examples. Lens number two that I feel like you know every wedding filmmaker should have is a telephoto lens. So a telephoto lens, aka a zoom lens. Is a lens that zooms you know from different focal points so the reason why every wedding filmmaker needs a telephoto lens is because you know you can zoom in that's the whole point you know because a, when you're doing a wedding especially like you know the ceremony or you know dancing and stuff like that you don't want to be up in people's faces you know you know what you want to give them space and you want to be out, you know, in the edges there, in the front, in the edges. So that way, you know, you're not in the action, you know. you. So that way the wedding feels traditional. It feels intimate. It feels like, you know, they love each other for real. And they're not just doing this for the cameras. So that's why you want to have a telephoto lens. So you can be out there and zoom in in the action. You can zoom in and um, get the bride up close and personal as she you know, reads the vows or says whatever she's saying or just like the reactions. And also from the other angle, you can zoom in on the groom and, um, you know, he's, um, you know, get his expressions, facial expressions when the bride walks down the aisle or when he's reading his vows to her. And um, yeah, 
that's why a telephoto lens is very very important to wedding videographers you know you need to be able to zoom in because you don't want to be in the action you want to just distance yourself and um, just um, be able to get up close without you know being right there like um, I really hate I'm not gonna say hate I really um, I'm against videographers and um, photographers that are up there like right there with the bride and groom at all times like maybe if you want to go there and get a shot and move out you know just don't be there the whole time because you know because they have their guests there you know the, the guests want to feel like they've been invited to an intimate ceremony they've been invited to something traditional something real they don't want to go there and feel like it's a show you know like it's a movie like it's a set like you know I hate photographers and videographers that do that kind of stuff like they want to be right there like the bride and groom are putting their rings on and then you want to be right there like right by the right by the officiant or the pastor or whoever like just right there like the rings like dude come on like give them space get a wider angle lens like you know get a get a zoom lens go be down there and zoom in and capture it go in the corner zoom in and capture it that corner zoom in capture it back there brought back there zoom in and capture it you know don't be all up in people's like you know space like come on man like other the family wants to see what's going on that's why they're there to be witnesses you know they, they don't want to see the back of your head like move move your move move out the way man get a zoom get a zoom lens get a telephoto lens that's why you need a telephoto lens you know this is an 18 to 105 it does what it does best you know I also have a Canon 7 and a 200 I zoom up so that's why you need a zoom lens you need a telephoto lens and um, I recommend you get something that goes up to a hundred or 200 or 300 or whatever but just that goes up to at least over a hundred you know so you need a telephoto lens as a wedding filmmaker that's that lens number three that you guys need is you need an ultra wide angle lens you know a white an, a wide lens a wide angle lens you need a wide angle lens you know I'm not saying get a fisheye lens though that's a good addition I've used the fisheye lens at a couple weddings and um, it wasn't my lens it was one of the photographers lens and he was like oh this is a good lens it's 1.2 it's good in low light and I was like okay yeah I know that duh it's a 1.2 and I used it it was really dope it was a wide angle lens it was a Canon it was an expensive lens um, I need to invest in that but I'm not you know it's not a must that like you get a fisheye lens but a wide uh, wide angle lens it's good it's not a must but it looks good you know especially during um the ceremony so that way you put it in the back and you just capture the whole room that's the purpose of a wide angle lens you know to capture the whole room or you know to capture a wide angle you know to capture um let's say the landscape of the venue and stuff like that and um i use wide angle lenses mostly when i'm doing um mostly during the dances at the reception so that way I can just like sit the camera there and just capture the whole action capture everybody dancing on the dance floor you know put it in the corner somewhere on the center somewhere and just capture everyone that's why I use a wide angle lens do you need a wide angle lens uh, since you need three lenses since that's, that's the title of this video, so yes, you need a wide angle lens. You need a really extra wide angle lens. So that way you can be able to capture, you know, everything. So I do recommend that you get a wide angle lens. Now, what what um what focal length are we talking about? I'm talking anywhere from 16 going down or from 18 going down, you know, 18 is good. 16 is good um anything from 16 going down of course it's going to be good you know 
eight millimeter lens, damn, it's gonna be wide as hell, but it's good. So anything that's a wide angle lens, guys, like, you know, it's good. Um, Canon, you can do, there's a lens that's 10 to 18, that's a really good lens. You know, you get, uh, I, I use it once, and um, it's a good lens. If you have Canon bodies, or if you um, have um, adapters for your other, you know, bodies, you can get the Canon 10 to 18, that's a good wide um, angle lens, so I recommend that lens. So these are three lenses that I feel every wedding filmmaker needs, guys. So a 50 mil lens, um, a telephoto lens, and a wide angle lens. So three lenses that I feel every wedding filmmaker needs. So it doesn't have to be a Canon, it doesn't have to be a Sony, it doesn't have to be any brand as long as it's in these um, focal lengths. So as long as it's a 1.8 or so, and something below that, 1.4, 1.2, I recommend that. If, if you have money to get a macro lens, those lenses are kind of expensive because they're specialty lenses. But um, if you have the money to get a macro lens, you could do that as well, you know. The better, the details would be like crazy with the macro lens. So yeah, so I record, those are the lenses that I feel like every wedding filmmaker needs. And uh, as well, guys, it's my opinion. And you can do whatever you want to do, guys. You can use whatever lens you want to. You can use a kit lens. It's up to you. It's your business. But um, these are my recommendations to you guys. And um, yeah, so be sure to smash the subscribe if you haven't yet. And be sure to like this video, click the like button. So that way, you know, more people can see this video. And um, I can just see that you guys appreciate the, you know, um, the content that I'm putting out. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate your time being with me. I really appreciate you guys watching. And um, shout out to everybody who's going to comment to the video. Much love, guys. Till the next video. Let's go. So when we say action, they're going to move and you guys are going to scream for them, okay guys? Right. Bride and groom, you guys are going to kiss when you get to the center. Okay. Yeah. And action. Go back, go, go, go over there, go over there, go over there.